Hello students, this is Akansha and welcome to our channel Aglasem School. Today we are going to do NCRT solution for class 6, science chapter 16, which is garbage in, garbage out. So, this chapter is about source of waste, type of waste, disposal of garbage, compost, how to reduce garbage, etc. So, without wasting any time, let's start with the question answers. Now, turn to page number 164, question number 1. A. Which kind of garbage is not converted into compost by the red worms? The answer is the garbage which contains pieces of cloth, broken glass, aluminium, wrappers, polythene bags, nails, broken toys, and old shoes cannot be converted into compost by red worms. B. Have you seen any other organism besides red worms in your pit? If yes, try to find out their names. Draw a picture of this. The answer is Yes, a pit might contain other soil microbes such as bacteria, other species of earthworms such as brandling worm and red wrinkle worms. And the diagram is on your screen. Question number 2. Discuss. A. Is garbage disposal the responsibilities only of the government? The answer is proper disposal of garbage should be a concern of every citizen and not just of the government. Each and every individual must reduce activities that pollute the environment. A lot of waste is generated from homes, offices, schools, hospitals, etc. It includes food waste, paper, plastic, glass, metal, etc. Therefore, it is required that every individual must reduce the production of wastes and must help in the proper disposal of these wastes. B. Is it possible to reduce the problems relating to disposal of garbage? The answer is yes, it is possible to reduce problems related to disposal of garbage. Here are some steps that can be observed by every individual to reduce the problem of garbage disposal. First, avoid using plastic bags. Encourage shopkeepers to use paper bags or always carry a cloth or jute bag while shopping. Second, Save paper, use both sides of paper to write. Third, use separate bins for recyclable and non-recyclable waste. Fourth, kitchen waste that includes fruit and vegetable peels, waste food, tea leaves, etc. can be used to make manure. Fifth, encourage your family, friends and others to follow proper disposal practices. Question number 3. A. What do you do with the leftover food at home? The answer is, leftover food can be collected and used to make compost. Compost provides nutrients essential for the growth and development of plants. B. If you and your friends are given the choice of eating in a plastic plate or a banana leaf platter at a party, which one would you prefer and why? The answer is, we would prefer to eat food in a banana leaf platter. This is because a leaf platter is a harmless substance that can be used to make manure by the process of compositing. Whereas plastic plates cannot be converted into harmless substances by compositing, they remain in the environment and create many problems. Question number fourth. A. Collect pieces of different kind of paper. Find out which of these can be recycled. The answer is all type of paper can be recycled. B. With the help of a lens, look at the pieces of paper you collected for the above questions. Do you see any difference in the material of recycled paper and a new sheet paper? The answer is it is possible to find out the difference between a recycled and a new sheet paper. However, it is believed that recycled paper is usually of low quality. Question number 5a. Collect different kinds of packaging material. What was the purpose for which each one was used? Discuss in groups. The answer is the different kinds of packaging materials commonly used includes first, plastic bags for carrying eatable or other household things. Second, Cloth or jute bags for carrying fruits, vegetables or other groceries. Third, paper bags for carrying small groceries, packing of food, etc. B. Give an example in which packaging could have been reduced. The answer is, 
the usage of plastic bags must be reduced as packaging of cooked food items in plastic bags might affect our health also plastic bags are non recyclable and burning of plastic bags may release harmful gases that can cause many health disease c write a story on how packaging increases the amount of garbage the answer is packaging increases the amount of garbage as we keep on throwing the packaging materials carelessly on roads and other places also since these packaging material are non recyclable they keep lying on the roads and cannot be properly disposed sometimes they get into drains and sewer systems and block them creating more problems question number 6 do you think it is better to use compost instead of chemical fertilizers why the answer is yes it is better to use compost instead of chemical fertilizers this is because compost is prepared from plant and animal wastes therefore it easily get composted it does not add any harmful chemicals to the soil whereas an excessive use of chemical fertilizers causes soil and water pollution so these were the question answer of this chapter and i hope you have noted it down if you still have any doubt you can write it down in the comment section we will definitely get back to you and for that you have to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends we will be back till then bye bye students